I'm Grace Delaney. Tonight, I am speaking with famed playwright Simon Nielsen about his latest play. Mr. Nielsen, it's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Mr. Nielsen, you are one of the greatest writers alive today. I know. I'm sure there are some in our audience who would like to know what your process was for writing this play. What was your inspiration? Well, I was sacrificing a goat to the sun god Ra when all of a sudden this meteor came crashing through my ceiling. Well, at least I thought it was a meteor until it cracked open and this tiny little green man with these big black eyes just hopped right out of it. Now I could see all the little controls inside, and then I knew that the meteor was actually a tiny little spaceship disguised to look like a meteor. Anyway, the creature hops out, and he pulls out this giant phaser, and he says to me, You will meet my demands, or I will vaporize you. So, naturally, I ask him what he wants, and he tells me that he wants my dog. You see, he, he was trying to get a pet for his queen, and I, I guess he saw my dog through some high-powered, super-advanced telescope thing or whatever, and he figured that my dog would be perfect, but of course I'm not giving up my dog for anything, so I told him, go to hell or go to a pet store, you're not getting my dog. Then he says to me, you leave me no choice, foolish earth creature, I shall have to take the dog by force, and you must die. And just as I think I'm a goner, who should come crashing through my window but Octavia Spencer? And she's armed with a Louisville slugger, and she says to the little alien, You get away from him, you bitch! And then she starts beating the living daylights out of him. And she completely destroys his phaser and his, face, his spaceship, so he can't use either of them anymore. He's essentially stranded and disarmed. So he, so with his last dying breath, he looks up to the sky and he says, I failed you, my queen. And he pulls out this dagger. To him, it was probably like a sword or something, but to me, it looked more like a dagger. Anyway, he takes out this sword, and he commits harakiri right in the middle of my living room. Anyway, I, I look back to thank Octavia Spencer for saving my life, but she was gone. But then I started to get this tinkling feeling, and then, then I knew, I knew, I just knew I had to get to my computer and start writing. And that's what inspired this last play I wrote. So, being attacked by a tiny alien and rescued by a famous actress inspired you to write a play about a gardener who falls in love with his wheelbarrow? Well, a lot got changed in the later drafts. That is fascinating. Thank you again for being here tonight. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. This is Grace Delaney saying good night and God bless. Uh...